All in, all done, all eyes on All Out. Welcome to the Cultaholic AEW All Out predictions. I am now your reigning and defending, Damn undisputed it. AEW Cultaholic predictions champion. You won, Tom. I did. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Tom. You ruined my night completely so you could have Grado. But I hope now you spend it in getting some lessons in grace and decorum. Because you've got all the grace or reversing dump truck without any tyres on. Let's do predictions. <sighs> the ROH tag team titles are on the line. MJF and Adam Cole, Bay Bay, defending against. This is a spoiler for Rampage. Oh, so heads up the winners of that battle royal uh, for the top contendership. Alex Reynolds and John Silver from the Dark Order. Ooh. Who you got and why? Uh, this is a fairly easy one for me. I'm thinking MJF Adam Cole. They just won it on Sunday at All In, which I predicted. And I think they're keeping the belts. It would be really silly to take them off, off them this, this early in their run as tag team champions. It feels like, uh, and WWE uses it recently where they've just hit the first inning or the second inning of a story. And I feel like that All In was just really the start of this friendship and this, this tag team championship reign. So I think, MJF and Cole are keeping it. Interesting choice to have uh, Dark Order as the opponents on a pay-per-view like this, but you know what? Alex Reynolds and John Silver have been with AEW since day dot, yeah. so it's nice to give them this moment where there is an opportunity to, but I don't see the Dark Order taking the titles away. No. Uh, this is just uh, another opportunity for the friendship to continue to on. To, to, to grow. To I'm grow. glad we're agreed on the first one. We are. Then next up is the TNT title where Christian Cage, sorry, Luchasaurus puts his title on the line <laughs> against Darby Allen. Who have you got, Tom? I think this is uh, once again the time for Darby Allen. Ooh! I really ooh, okay. do. Now, it goes against sort of basic wrestling booking law because at the pay per view on Sunday, we had Darby Allen putting Christian Cage and Swerve away yes. in that coffin match. But I think we take away that last little piece of Christian Cage here via Luchasaurus and that TNT title. Who you got and why? I think Luchasaurus is keeping it because. Christian Cage is one of the most entertaining things on AWTV right now. Everyone's into him. Everyone is loving when he comes out and just says, your father. <laughs> it's getting insane reactions. Luchasaurus has had actually one of the best TNT title runs we've had in a very, very long time. And he's not even held the title. He's not actually <laughs> physically held that championship. But I think it continues on because uh, I think there's a lot more they can do between Christian Cage and Luchasaurus with Christian sort of Pretending he's the champion when Luchasaurus really is. I think I think we've got a lot more to explore there. Darby doesn't really need it. For me, having him in that TNT title picture is kind of a little step back for him. Man, Luchasaurus, I think, as you say, as as champion who isn't defending the belt, is having the best run oh, ever. He's having so much fun, and he's so good, and he's he's kind of bringing some prestige back to the belt. Well, Christian's bringing the prestige back to the belt, <laughs> but I, I kind of hope Luchasaurus keeps it. Big beefy boys, Miro versus Powerhouse Hobbs. Who you got and why? I am thinking Hobbs on this one. I, I find this match really, really tough to call because they're both, as you say, they're big, they're beefy, and they're men, and they're gonna slap some meat. And I think it's <laughs> it's one that can go either way. Both of them, I think, need the win. Um, so for me, this one was just a case of who would I rather see get the win? Who do I think needs the win more? And I think Hobbs just needs that win more because he's been associated with QTV and I feel so sorry for him. <laughs> so, so a reward would be I'm, I'm beating kinda, Miro. Yeah, I'm kind of going, you poor, oh, you poor wee thing. <laughs> oh. Poor wee thing, Hobbs. I hope you get the win. I think Miro taking over Hobbs. I think Mi Hobbs is going to give Miro an absolute fight. Yeah, oh yeah. But I think Miro has some big ambitions on a Saturday night and I think Hobbs may not necessarily factor into those with him. I see Miro coming out on top here, but I don't think it's the end of the story. Okay, so you think uh, this is the first chapter? I think this is the first, and I think maybe Hobbs will get up another win back, and then a big sort of wild brawl to end their rivalry. But it must begin here with a win for Miro. Hmm. Next up is the Ring of Honor TV title as Samoa Joey takes on Shane Taylor. It is uh, it's a, an odd match, I'll say, to have on the All Out pay-per-view. But I want to know who, who are you picking? It's got to be Samoa Joe. Yeah. Joe had a, a, a very a very strong match against CM Punk at All In, which he came out uh, he came out as the loser on. So therefore, yeah. this is a chance to re-establish Samoa Joe as the ROH TV champion with a win over a very game Shane Taylor. Who you got? Uh, it's also Samoa Joe. Uh, similar reasons. He, he he came up short on on Sunday at All In, 
but he put on one heck of a performance and his Ring of Honor title run is one of the longest championship reigns in AEW slash Ring of Honor. I think they kind of extend it here. Shane Taylor is a great talent, but I don't think he's beating Samoa Joe when they've got they've got kind of a lot, uh, a lot of push behind Samoa Joe at the moment. Keep him strong, keep him strong on AEW TV. If you're gonna make him lose the Ring of Honor title, do it on Ring of Honor. The TBS Championship on the line. Chris Statlander puts it up against Ruby Ruby Soho. Who you got and why? It's Statlander. It's, she's had the belt for a wee while now. She's not really had the focus that I think she deserves or needs with that belt. She should have been in All In, I think, or with that championship. Obviously, they've saved this for All Out uh, to sort of have a big championship match there. I like Ruby Soho, but Statlander needs to keep that belt a little longer just to give it a bit more prestige. Jade Cargill had it for so, so long and did so much with that championship. And it feels like Statlander has barely scratched the surface. Yeah, I mean, Chris Statlander has been looking good. And quite frankly, I can't imagine her without the strap on. It's been one of those reigns so far that we haven't quite seen enough of. And I'm keen to see where they take it mm -hmm. with Statlander. Uh, you know, I feel like this is just the beginning of something special. And I think it also may further the the, the dissolving okay. of the outcast. Yes. So you think there'll be some outcast yeah. shenanigans well, in here? Well, Ruby got amongst it with Tony Storm. I think Tony may may pop up, pop up there as well. Yeah. So yeah. I think there's there's certain that you can certainly carry on telling the the end of the outcasts by having Chris Statlander retain the TBS title. Then it is a big, big tag team match which sees Bullet Club Gold, Jay White, Juice Robinson and the Guns taking on FTR and the Young Bucks. Tom, who's going to win this one? I feel that this is one for the bad guys. I see Bullet Club yes. Gold, the Bang Bang Gang getting one up on the four guys who went out to steal the show at Wembley. Yep. And, and I feel like this is a great way to establish Bullet Club, Club Gold once again in that tag title mix. Really enjoyed their work last weekend. And yeah. Juice Robinson in general is just a revelation. He's so entertaining, <laughs> so right? So very, so very fun. good. I think it comes down to the fact that Bullet Club Gold is a united front. They are a tag team. They are a team that knows exactly all their moving parts. FTR and the Young Bucks don't. They're both big, big rivals. And I think here, that's gonna be their downfall. Bullet Club Gold, win this one, maybe not easily because FTR and the Young Bucks are two of the best tag teams in the entire business, perhaps the two best tag teams, uh, but I think Bullet Club Gold will get a big win here, as you said, establish themselves in that tag division once again, and maybe go on a challenge for the titles in the future. Eddie Kingston and Shibata team up to face the Blackpool Combat Club combo of Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Utah. Who you got and why? I've got the Blackpool Combat Club. Claudio and Wheeler, I think, they lost on Sunday. This is really kind of the tale of the pay-per-view for me, is a lot of people that lost on Sunday at All In might get a bigger win at All Out. And I think Claudio and Wheeler are gonna do just that. Having them beat Eddie Kingston and Shibata, a team of two very formidable opponents, just feels right. It makes you know Blackpool Combat Club feel strong. It makes them have a win that they've missed out on. And I think that really, that, that comes down to it. And it extends the Claudio-Eddie Kingston feud a little bit longer, which I think, they need to do as a Ring of Honor title match at some point, again, on a Ring of Honor pay-per-view and have Eddie win. I think at the end of the year, we're going to see Claudio and Eddie headline an ROH pay-per-view once more and just have that big blow-off match uh, for that feud for the ages. Mm -hmm. But this is not where you finish the story. Uh, we had BCC, as Fraser said there, lose at Wembley. So therefore, in Chicago, they need to take it back a little bit. And this is where we'll see maybe Claudio get a win over Kingston, pinning yeah. Kingston in a cheeky manner. That's going to fuel that fire a little bit further. So uh, like yourself, sir, I am also picking BCC to get the one, two, three. Next up is the international title match, Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley. Who have you got, Tom? You cannot deny that Orange Cassidy has had a phenomenal 2023. Oh, you said Whether you good. like him or not, oh, yeah. it. He's been brilliant, and, 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 and he's defied the odds every single time. I think he's defying them again. <laughs> I think he's defying them again. Ooh. I think Orange Cassidy is beating John Moxley, and I know you may balk at the idea. I don't think it's going to be the cleanest and, and, and simplest victory at all, uh -huh. but I think, he's, I think he's pinning Moxley. As much as I would love that to happen, mm. Orange Cassidy has, as you said, had an incredible 2023. He's potentially the, apart from your Roman Reign and your Gunther, he's maybe the best champion in the entire year. Yep. He's definitely the best champion in the entirety of AEW, for sure. And I think that 
as much as I'd like it to continue, I think Moxley is his toughest challenge, and I think Mox will stop at nothing to destroy Orange Cassidy for, for ha like taking the win at Wembley, taking that win from them. And I think John Moxley, it's been a while since he's had a title reign. It's been about, about a year now. Um, and I think, uh, I think he should have another one here. With the international title, that would up the prestige of that belt even more, having what a lineage of Pac, Orange Cassidy, John Moxley. We've only had two previous champions of the international title, or only one if you count it since the name change. I think this is where it happens. As much as I want to see Orange keep it keep it longer and lose to someone like Swerve, I think it's Moxley. I think as well. And and when we go we're going through this car, the next couple of matches uh, we're going to talk about. There's not many choices in terms of a main event match. Yeah, this is possibly a match that could main event it the show. Should be it, I think. Yeah, or it might be one of these others. Or it might be Kenny Omega, one-on-one -on -one with Konosuke Takeshita. Who you got and why? It's Kenny Omega. Mm. It's Kenny Omega. Uh, again, it feels like I'm going back to this all-in thing where so-and-so lost, so so-and-so's got to win here. But I think having Omega win here, it just feels right. It kind of allows them to continue the story. I don't think it's going to be an easy win, and I don't think it's going to be a clean win. I think Kenny Omega is going to dig down deep to get that victory no matter what, and it might be a, another roll-up. So they've got a back and forth between the two. Cash to one with a roll-up on Sunday, Kenny Omega wins this Sunday with a roll-up. But either way, all I see is Kenny Omega winning here, just keeping him strong going forward. Takeshita will get a big victory at another time, but it's not this weekend. See, I'm the opposite. I think we had Takeshita, Beating Omega at Wembley with a roll up. Let's do it again. Ooh. Let's have Takeshita just rack up another win over Kenny Omega. More shenanigans if need be, but I don't think Omega gets his win over Takeshita just yet. I think these two will, may have the match of the night. Yes, give I, it time. Uh, yeah, yeah, they'll just go for it, won't they? Oh yeah. I'm big, and, I, and I'm big into that. But I don't think we're getting a decisive win. I think we're going to have an excuse to see them run it back maybe one more time. Uh, and to do that, we've got to have the baddie once again you know, surpassing the goodie. Oh yeah. So Takeshita for the dub for me. And finally, it's the strap match between Ricky Starks and Ricky Steamboat. Now, as of time of recording, it's not been confirmed that this match is definitely happening, but it looks like it's definitely happening. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Now, I go I'm going against convention here because obviously Ricky Starks is a, is a star on the rise. He is, yes. But I feel like I feel like Ricky Steamboat's winning. What? I feel like I don't really? know what it is. There's something in my waters. Maybe I just don't like winning. It's coming home to me this weekend, that's for sure. There's something in the waters that tells me they might give Ricky Steamboat a real feel-good win here. Not to say that he doesn't get the tar beaten out of him afterwards okay. by Ricky yeah. Starks. But I think I think Ricky Starks gets a nice yeah. big pop from the Chicago crowd. I think there's some, some history there. I don't know, because look, AEW has treated legends very, very well. We've mm. seen this, the likes of Sting, Arn Anderson, you know, even Christian Cage, if you want to consider himself, if you want to consider him a legend. But I think they need to use a legend really well here and have him put over Ricky Starks and just have Ricky Starks destroy him. Just have him hold nothing back because Ricky's been suspended for 28 days. This is when his suspension's up and stops being a manager, he gets to go back in at the ring. And I think he's going to take all of that pent-up aggression for the past few weeks out on Ricky Steamboat. Maybe we'll see someone come to his rescue. Maybe we'll see someone come to Steamboat's rescue and that sets up Ricky's feud, Ricky Stark's feud, not Ricky Steamboat's feud, going forward. But I think Starks has got to win, right? Starks has got to he's, he's the young up-and-comer. Steamboat, he's been retired for quite a while. I mean, he had that great match at WrestleMania 25, but that was, and then Backlash, but that was 2009, Tom. Something in me waters, though. <sighs> Something in me waters. I don't know. Maybe I'm pregnant. It's, <laughs> I think, I'm sticking with it. I want that for, belt back. For better or worse, for I better or worse. Back. Sticking with it. Those are our predictions for AEW all in. 20, all out, sorry. All, out, yeah. all, all shake it all about. Those are our predictions for all out. 
this Sunday. You can watch Fraser Porter and myself with live reactions to the show on youtube.com slash cultaholic slash live to get you in the mood for it. Nine pitches for All Out waiting for you on the Cultaholic YouTube channel. Plus, over the weekend, we will have what happened at All Out and the WTF moments as well and the latest wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Was that everything? That's everything, Tom. That's You've everything. You've got to say that I'm going to get that belt back. I didn't forget to say that. I'm going to get it back. I didn't forget to say that.